Dr. Sami Sharma from Mumbai. Yes. Are you hearing us? Yes. Welcome back. Yep, we can hear you very well. Thank you. Thank you, uh, myself, uh, Dr. Mahajan, and our cat lab staff from Sion Hospital, uh, ready to show you another case. And this is the coronary case. And Dr. Mahajan, you tell a little history. He is a 58 year old. Known case of diabetes, chronic stable angina, had raised angina on 15th of July, some elevation of enzymes and then he was diagnosed with a non diagnosed as a non-ST elevation antiviral myocard infarction and the coronary angio picture is in front of okay. you. So we can play that, we, we can, can play, play it, yeah. Now you see this here. The, there is a total occlusion of the LED after the septal and the diagonal. You see the distal LED fills by the collateral. It's a left dominant system. And uh, this is what we have the plan. So we have engaged. Yep. It's a six French guide, EBU. Uh, what's the guide? EBU. EBU. And uh, we are going to a purpose. The plan today is revascularize with the wire first, then decide which stent, but uh, we actually have the miras available for this particular case. Now we are you. This is a uh, run through wire. Will die. I think it's in the septal now. Yeah, yeah. I may need a balloon support. So this is the LED. So in this case, you do not need a contralateral injection. Lateral yeah, this we do not know because I think it's a more of an acute lesion. We take a picture now. Let's take a picture. Okay, let's get a balloon. We are 2.5 uh, NC mosaic. Actually, both uh, mosaic and NC mosaic are available in US also. They are distributed by the Cordis. It's a 2.5 balloon. And then we are ready with the IVAS also. We are actually looking for the OCT but uh, could not be made available. So we are going to use uh, IVAS today. Yeah, go up. Negative. Slipped. We'll go a little slow. Two, two, four, four, six, six, eight, eight. No, it's still moved. Yeah, length is what, 15? Yes, 15. Yeah, go up again. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Eight, ten, twelve. It's still a little distal, negative. So many times to remove, uh, to eliminate this watermelon seed effect, you go a little slow. Again, four, four, six, six, no, eight, ten, eight, ten. Again, moved. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, let's take one picture. Okay. Now, lesion actually involves. Uh, it's a little after the diagonal. Yeah. Yeah. So I think if it's okay, two, two, now two question is the lesion two, preparation two, 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 two. before we put the we put um, uh, our miras, but uh, it is a softer lesion. Uh, I think we can put a 2.75 uh, 29. What do you think? Yes. Yeah. 20. And then we'll post dilate. I you want to do IVAS first? Huh? Now? Yes. Okay. So we are going to do IVAS to assess the vessel size. Okay. Now, how would they show IVAS? Uh, the okay. Connected. Yeah. 
ओके गुड ओके स्टार्ट नाउ आई वर्स इज बीइंग शोन देयर यप दिस इज द डिस्टल टू द लीजन Yeah, very little, uh, no calcium. Yeah, this is the bookmark. This is the lesion. Little distal, this is a large plaque. The vessel size is about three millimeter. One, two, three. Yes. Yeah. And this is the, this is the bookmark one. This is the lesion of that occlusion. still there is a large residual plaque ha ah, this is the proximal is yeah and then there is a, that is the diagonal yeah, and septal we saw so proximally it's larger than 3 even other yeah proximal is definitely much larger than 3 now look at this even there is a lot of atheroma in the artery where it looks like angiographically in Okay, we can stop it. Okay, let's get a two point seven five. So it will require a differential dilatation. Okay, we'll, let's you flush it. Two seventy five for three zero. So we're going to use again. Yeah, I think uh, we knowing that the distal is about two point. Let's go to the distal vessel. Looks like that was about two point seven five. So we take a two point seven five and then we dilate. Approximately to three point two five and so. Yeah. Okay. Put a two point seven five. Give us. Yeah. And proximal portion will dilate with the three point five. Maybe. Meris. Yeah. Two point seven five. Twenty nine. Twenty nine. Two point seven five. Twenty nine. Yeah. So we have meris two point seven five. Twenty nine. Okay. Oh. Because that's a could I use a smaller one? Show the yeah, last okay. picture. Okay, okay. Shorter okay. length, I mean shorter length. Minus, yeah. Plus, plus, yeah. Plus, plus, good. Yeah. So we'll play. Going to place this after the diagonal. Now, if we need anything proximally, we'll use a bigger one. We have three point five also. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. So this is a. Take out the sheath, and the wire minimum touch, with no touch technique. Look for a three O N C mosaic. No. Okay. Let's see a little die. Yeah. Good. I think we are good. Good. That's what we wanted. So go slow. Two. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, sir, fourteen. Yeah, just fourteen. Okay, negative. Three point 
three marker on each side, right? Hmm. Now you can see here the three marker on each side compared to our two markers of the absorb. Three balloon. So it will require a little more dilatation. Hmm. And as you saw, the data were presented of the Miras uh, 100, six months uh, data showing very little late loss, 0.15 millimeter, and uh, no event at six months, although one case within six months to one year. Now data is reaching about two years. We actually deployed in first uh, 10 series few cases right from here. Here. And how has been your experience, Dr. Mahajan, on Miras, the cases which you've done, how many have come back, or besides just the angiographic follow-up? Hey, all patients we had done a follow-up, 20 yeah. patients we had done, all yeah. patients we had done a follow-up. I was OCT and uh, one year HRCT. Ah. And uh, the data is very promising. Very promising. Uh, very promising. And no scaffold thrombosis. No, no scaffold thrombosis. Yeah, that is the biggest concern. The initial yeah. uh, 10. Go. Initial 10? Initial 10 cases, we we continued with our uh, dual antiplatelet uh, protocol of aspirin and plavix. And then uh, remaining 10 patients 14, we had done, 14. we had gone. 16. 16. Yeah. And remaining patients? They were on Brilinta. Ah. Brilinta and aspirin. Okay. Go up here. 10, 12, 12 14, 16, 14, 16, 18, 18, 20. Now, this is the 3O, and we have gone 20 millimeter. Yeah, there is still a dent in the center. But let's open this proximally. Just, uh, yeah, okay. now. Exactly at the dot. 14. 18, 20, 22. 18, 20. 22. 20. Yeah. It expanded at 22. Yeah. Okay. We'll come back in the guide and then take a picture. No. Let's take a picture. No. The middle still remain a little dent. So let's go back. Here. Go up here. 14. 22. 22. 22. Good. Negative. Okay. So now, question is, do we do die? Last picture? No, let them play. Yeah. Next. Yeah. Yeah. I think the proximal we have to dilate further. Agree? We need a 3.58 millimeter. Proximal segment. High pressure. Right? Remember I think the we'll do OCT. One it was, uh, nobody I was and then decide. It was 3.5 proximally. Here. We'll do I was and then we'll decide. But still there is an end. Uh, there is some plaque prolapse or something like that. We'll do the I was okay. and then we'll All right. So, idea is Dr. Mahajan says let's do the I was. Then decide exactly what is happening with the proximal segment. Three point five could be a bit larger for a two seventy five scaffold. Yes. Good. Good. Okay, start. Okay, I was being shown, yeah. Hmm. Start pullback. Yeah. Started. Now we'll enter in the scaffold. Ha. Huh. Scaffold. Yep. 
Definitely a post and ex fully expanded at this point. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this is the one. We need to expand. This is the proximal area. Dr. Sharma, yeah. may I yeah. ask questions? We need 3.5. Yeah. May, may I ask questions? Yes, absolutely. So 3.5. It seems to me that the OCT, or yes. OCT will be better for assessment uh, for expansion of BRS because they are more clearly visible. Uh, yes. Uh, scaffold slab. What do you think? What about that? Absolutely. OCT role? Yeah. No, actually, we wanted. But our OCT is not available here today. But yes, that will give you more precise uh, expansion, opposition, and the see any edge dissections. Yes. It will be a better tool. So now we have a 3.58 high pressure for the proximal segment. Okay, there's a 3.58 mosaic. Yeah, let's go up here. Ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Actually, three markers gives us good negative. Gives a good landmark where our proximal should be. Go again. 12 here. 12. 14. Good. Negative. Okay. Let's take a picture. Definitely has improved. Yeah, definitely. And geographically is perfect. The proximal segment. Yes. So I think if it's okay, we saw that I was, uh, it was the proximal segment only. We have pushed dilated with a 3.5, with a 20 atmosphere. Uh, it, uh, we can just take the last picture with the nitroglycerin and we are done here. I don't think we need any additional, take the wire out also. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Okay, let's give a nitro and we take a, a last picture now. Go to LAO, LAO cranial. Very good. If there's no question, we are done from here. Perfect. Congratulations. Perfect result. Oh. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.